it again oh, and oh, close he, her up. He, absolutely. He's got it. To the heel, oh, he has it. If I'm a woman, I can't even date him. He's so cute. I am a woman. I can not. <laughs> <laughs> Different reasons. To the NBA now, Blazers, Mavs, rookie Dennis Smith Jr. showing off his 48-inch vertical. Pass to himself. What's wrong, CeCe? CeCe, look, I'm going to get us back on track here with one of my zany theories you love so much. This should count as an assist, just like what Daniel House did last earlier this week, throwing off himself in the backboard. What about Assisting the rule, bucket? Nick, in basketball you can't pass to yourself? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why it's a zany theory. We should adjust that rule. Oh, that one you can't take a charge. Uh, well, under that's the a separate, separate rule. That's a Hornets safety issue, sir. And Bulls. <laughs> Malik Monk with the baseline jam. There you go, Malik Monk. We thought, man, a lot of people thought you're going to be a little better as a rookie than you have been. Had a 40-point game as a freshman at Kentucky. Hasn't panned out so much. So no, I learned a lesson from him and Lonzo Ball after watching last season up close and personal. Man, I temper my expectations on these rookies the in the NBA. Guys in particular. Yes. Time for in or out. The Kawhi Leonard saga continues. He hasn't played since January, but it's still the talk of the town. Recent reports have teams circling to make a trade offer for the Spurs star this season. Alan Moe, some say Alan, no. There you go, Jenna. <laughs> Am I in or out on the Spurs trading Kawhi? Yeah, Jenna said her own joke. Nailed it, he said. I am in on the Spurs trading Kawhi because... I've never seen a player just sit themselves out the way it looks like he is, a player of his caliber. He does not want to play there anymore, it would appear. And we, I know people are like, well, they were able to bring it back with LaMarcus Aldridge. We only found out about the LaMarcus Aldridge situation after the se it happened in the offseason. We only found out about it once it was resolved. That is not the situation. You think he could play right now? I, 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 the Spurs think he could play right now. I'm not in Kawhi's leg, so I, I don't know, but I... Man, I'm. This whole thing is the way it's led to me is believe that Kawhi does not want to be there. NBA player league, man, he don't want to be there. He's not going to be there. I talked to my source. It's Baby Sue. We're in on the Kawhi. They're going to trade him. Like he's played his last game. You don't see this type of dispute played out publicly. We've seen the signs from what Pop said. We heard about the team meeting stuff. You don't hear about coming out of San Antonio and. Kawhi, does, he's not happy being there. So he's in the last year of his contract. He's not going to sign an extension there. Kawhi will be elsewhere in 2018. Wow, I can't believe this is happening. All That's right. what my source said. Let's move on. You know, Baby Sue's also my source, so this is awkward. <laughs> uh, LeBron James put up 27 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists in his 78th game this season. With four games remaining, King looks like he might play all 82 games for the first time in his career. He claims this was never a part of his plan. CC, you went around on LeBron James playing all 82 games this year. Jenna, I'm in. And the way the season started, let's, let's not forget. Yeah. A guy said he didn't want to play with LeBron. Well, he didn't want to play in Cleveland. You don't want to play in Cleveland. You don't want to play with LeBron. That was what Kyrie Irving decided to do. And then now, Isaiah Thomas. Oh, man, he's still injured. It's not a good fit. Then they trade him. They make the big trade before the trade deadline. It's kind of evolved to this, but man, if he's going to pass Michael Jordan, because he ain't going to be able to pass them six championships, he ain't going to be able to pass that six and oh, hey man, he got to be able to do it with longevity and numbers. And this would be a number in season 15 that I would say would be significant. Playing all 82 games, that's another check mark for LeBron that Michael Jordan won't be able to say that he's accomplished. I'm in, even though I don't think it's ideal. I think it's yes. better if LeBron were to play 74 to 77 games as he has the past few years. But CC nailed it. There, the, it. At what point could he have rested? Like, he's played all 82. They're in a dogfight to even stay in the top four seeds in the East. They have played zero games this year with their full lineup they will have headed into the playoffs. Amazing. There's been no moment for him where it's like, oh, we can take this night off. And we got we have to say that, full disclosure, LeBron has disclosed that his back injuries that he's had the last two years that have hampered him, they've cleared up. So his body has spoken to him and said that he could make himself available. And I know LeBron says he doesn't worry about the numbers. Hmm. LeBron cares about his legacy in this regard. I think what CC mentioned about, um, you know what, after last year you guys criticized me for resting? Yes. How about I how about I play all 82 in year 15? I think that plays into it as well, even if it wasn't premeditated before the year. All right, potential rookie of the year, Ben Simmons led the 76ers to a win last night. That's 11 straight for Philly. Dr. J was there for his statue unveiling, and he said Simmons is, quote, a once-in-a-lifetime player. Nick Wright, you went around on Ben Simmons being a once-in-a-lifetime player. I am out, and I will channel my inner Chris Carter. 
Do people know how long a lifetime is? Like, Ben Simmons right now is not even a once in his division player. Like, <laughs> I mean, the, 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 or in his conference. Like, right. the, his best case scenario is to be a lesser version of LeBron. And if he develops a jump shot, by the way, I think he could get there. Like, but so no, he's not a once in a lifetime type of player. He should be the unanimous rookie of the year. He is a fringe all star already, but no, not once in a lifetime. Rookie. If we have a draft just of his own team, oh, uh, let me have the first pick. We're playing a pickup game. Who are you going to take? It's great. Oh, this guy's a once in a lifetime over here. Ben Simmons, he can't shoot outside of five feet. Can't beat Jenna in horse. <laughs> or I'm going with Joel Embiid. Oh, let's stop it, people. Now, Joel Embiid, he's a once every decade type player, all right? A once a lifetime. Dr. J is one of my favorite all time, but, you know, uh, something. No, 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 Doc. No, Doc, I understand. They just put a statue out there in front of you. You got to say good things about the team. <laughs> What took him so long? Uh, yeah, why, why, why we wait till now for the statue? All right, finally, Giancarlo Stanton made his uh, Yankee Stadium debut last night, and it was a little bit different from the uh, Yankee debut. It wasn't spectacular. He finished 0 for 5 for his first five strikeout game of his career. After his last swing and a miss, the Yankee faithful let him hear it. They actually booed. He wasn't upset after the game. He understood that he didn't play well. But, Nick, you went around on a Yankee fans booing Giancarlo Stanton. I say this to all my friends that work on this show, all the people I live around in New York City. The hell's wrong with y'all? You just signed this guy. You boo him in his first game. You owe him approximately a quarter of a billion dollars moving forward. Maybe don't boo him. He had two home runs his first game as a Yankee. He had a rough night. It was cold weather. Y'all booing him? I'm out, man. Man, Sue and I were supposed to be going to the first game. It got canceled. Not because of technical. Not because of rain. Damn, snow. <laughs> okay? So, we're supposed to go to yesterday's game. Oh, it was a blazing 39 degrees uh -huh. in New York City with a little mist falling on us. Wait. No, as Yankee fans, that's what we do. Man, we boo. You know what he looked like yesterday? What? He looked like he was in Miami and too cold. He was trying to get to the dugout. That's the only thing time he moved fast during the game. That was going from the batter's box to the dugout to get warm. As Yankee fans, that's what we do. That's what they boo. do. Five, five times? You boo five times, over for five. You, you Coming up. Don't worry, he'll get that contract. Remember, he's on pace for 324 home runs, so I feel like like he should be okay. Uh, is Tiger on the verge of a win at Augusta? I'll talk about that next on First Things First. You would have had to hit two home runs every, every game. game. Yeah, but